Seville, one of the largest Spanish cities, is the capital of southern Spain's Andalusia region and is a city rich in Moorish heritage. This is visible in everything from the colorful painted tiles that adorn many buildings to the lobed arches of the palaces. Seville is a popular tourist destination, and the city has one of the largest old towns in Spain. It is famous worldwide for its culture, monuments, traditions, and artistic heritage, with many attractions both modern and historical, making it a great place to visit. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Seville, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Seville Aquarium. The Seville Aquarium is open all year round and is located next to the river on the Calle Santiago Montoro. Both fresh and saltwater species are on display, with 35 different tanks throughout the attraction, housing around 7,000 fish, mammals, and reptiles. With more than 400 different species, visitors can see two newly renovated ecosystems, the rainforest and the mangrove, home to hundreds of tropical fish. This aquatic day out is as educational as it is important, and the Aquarium of Seville works hard to inform visitors about the dangers facing our oceans. Number 9 is the Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Seville. A circuit on the Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Seville takes about 80 minutes and covers all the main highlights and major tourist attractions. It's a great way to explore the city, and the fleet of comfortable buses will whisk you between stops, specially chosen to give a comprehensive introduction to Seville's rich history and dazzling culture. With unbeatable panoramic views, visitors can get to know this famous city in detail. At number 8 is Seville Cathedral. Visitors can explore one of the world's biggest cathedrals that has a stunning exterior. The inside of Seville Cathedral is just as impressive, with an enormous main hall that houses one of the largest altarpieces in the world. Flanking the hall, you'll find 80 individual chapels, dedicated to the many saints and noble figures that played a part in the city's religious history. And after you've explored the ground levels, climb the legendary Girdala Tower and enjoy far-reaching views of Seville and the lush Andalusian countryside. Number 7 is the Royal Alcazar of Seville. The Royal Alcazar is a marvelous UNESCO-listed palace complex that is still in use by the Spanish royal family, and their chambers, staterooms, and ornate halls are on the upper level. The palace is absolutely beautiful, with the walls tiled in rich hues, hallways decorated with crystal lamps and vast tapestries, and the intricate ceilings are stunning. Outside the fountains, lush citrus groves and manicured gardens are enchanting. At number 6 is the Maria Luisa Park. A delightful oasis of green in the heart of the city, the extensive Parque de Maria Luisa is a lovely place to escape the noise of the city, with a pleasant surprise down every path. Whether it's an ornate pond, pavilion, sculpture, or beautiful fountain, the park's broad avenues have twin rows of tall palm trees, while the body of the park is woven with little trails. There is also a large botanical garden with unusual species from around the world. Number 5 is the Metropole Parasol. Since opening in 2011, the Metropole Power Soul, known locally as the Mushrooms, have become something of a city icon. Designed as a giant sunshade by German architect Jürgen Mayer, it's said to be the world's largest wooden structure. It's certainly a formidable sight, with its 30-meter-high mushroom-like pillars and honeycombed roof. Lifts run up from the basement to the top, where you can enjoy fantastic city views from a winding walkway and cafe. At number 4 is the Museum of Fine Arts of Seville. The Museum of Fine Arts of Seville was founded in 1839 and is one of Spain's biggest museums of fine art. It contains a collection of works from medieval times through the early 20th century and displays a choice selection of works by Spanish artists from the 17th century, the so-called Golden Age of Sevillian painting. Number 3 is the Plaza de España. The Plaza de España is a plaza in the Parque de María Luisa in Seville, built in 1928 for the Ibero-American Exposition of 1929. Now a major tourist attraction, there is a spectacular semicircular brick building, Renaissance in style, and a 500-meter canal that follows the curve of its facade, and in the center of it all is the plaza itself. At number 2 is the Tor del Oro. The Tor del Oro means the Golden Tower and is one of Seville's most recognizable landmarks. The 12-sided tower is a 13th-century military building that dominates the Guadalquivir Riverbank and is probably one of the most photographed sites in the city. Visitors can enjoy some spectacular views of the city and the river from the top. And at number one is the Flamenco Dance Museum and Show. Visitors can explore fascinating exhibits, costumes, props, and more in the Flamenco Museum and see how flamenco evolved from a folk art into a national cultural institution. Enjoy a high-tech tribute to the traditional dance with giant interactive displays that mesmerize you. Then, experience a traditional live flamenco performance at one of the best venues in Seville, a wonderfully atmospheric 18th century courtyard. So, that sums up our top 10 things to do in Seville. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. 
Until next video, have a great day.